good morning good afternoon good evening welcome to my channel it's like the houses are beginning to understand what Nandekano was telling them years ago it's like they are beginning to understand what Nandekano told them about the flannies today on their own they are beginning to wake up from their slumber on their own they are beginning to wake up from sleep on their own they have come to understand that Mazen Namdekano was actually telling them the truth why he was broadcasting on their own they have come to the terms that Flanese are actually here to destroy them I would like you to go ahead and watch the video. Good day, my brothers and sisters, Hausa indigenous and other Nigerian indigenous, Middle Belters, North East, Hausa land, Ibo land, Yoruba land, caution, be careful. We don't have any Ariwa consultative forum. We don't have any Ariwa elders or Ariwa youth forum. We don't know anything about Ariwa in Nigeria. No more Ariwa. We don't know what is called Ariwa. Ariwa means not. Ariwa and not they far from where you are staying to the end of the world is Ariwa. There is south from where you are staying to the end of the world. There is south there. Not east, west, south, north. So we don't know anything called Ariwa in Nigeria. Ariwa is a plant for Fulani to have way to exist they don't have specific location to claim that is why they are saying ariwa ariwa is not a nation ariwa is not a land ariwa is not a state ariwa is not a local government ariwa consultative forum ariwa elders ariwa youths ariwa sheikh ariwa imams ariwa kings we don't know them we have house land let's house people talk against their own nation, Hausa land. <laughs> Let the Kanuri talk concerning North East. We don't know anything called Ariwa. We have Middle Belt, Central Nigeria. We have Hausa land. We have Kanuri land. We have Igbo and Yoruba lands and other indigenous that exist within those land. Fulani have no any place to claim. That is why they are saying Ariwa. Who's ever come out and talk on behalf of Ariwa is a Fulani. We Hausa are different. Hausa is a tribe with nation and its culture on its own. Hausa people are separate. Fulani people are separate. They are invaders. We don't know them. They just came to claim our land. They kill our emirs, kings, and other grand grandfathers to claim our land. Let all the Igbos know that who created the Biafran Wars are Fulanis. Sadona is a Fulani man. It's not a Hausa. Hmm. We don't know where they came from. They don't have a specific place to claim as their own nation. Fulani came to Africa just to conquer every places and kill any other indigenous within each and every country within Africa. Be careful. Those people protesting, calling Zangazanga, they are Shiites. They are Shiites. Al Zezeki teams, they are the one trying to create war to claim our nation. To divide and kill everybody pertaining anybody in Nigeria. Mm. We don't know where they came from. It's full idea that is creating this problem. They are protesting. They just want to create war. Be careful. We have to look back to what happened in Sudan, Libya. All those things are created mainly by gypsy. Karamita, those that don't have religion. They don't have origin. They went there, overpowered the indigenous of those places, and created war and problems within those places. 
So we have the same people here in Nigeria, they are the Fulanis. They are the Fulanis. My dear brothers and sisters, our indigenous, our Yoruba, Ibu, and other middle belters, be careful. This world is not a place to talk. We are staying with our enemies. We have to know who are our enemies and who are our lovers' friends. We have to be very careful. We are Hausa, we are different from Fulani. Fulani are clean houses. Fulanis are clean Ibos. They are clean Yorubas. They have killed Kanuris. They created Boko Haram just to wipe the Kanuri people and their land. We have to be very careful. This protest is mainly sponsored and organized by Fulanis because they lost power. They don't have power in Nigeria. President Buhari is the last Fulani person that will rule in this country. And he gave them all the capacity, power, position, and he invests in Miyati Allah group just to overpower every other person in this our country. Fulani have done the worst to everybody in this country, Nigeria. We have to be very careful. Fulani are not in Nigeria. They are the one creating problem. We have to be very careful. My dear brothers and sisters, my fellow indigenous, I am talking on behalf of my nation and my people. My outside. nation. We are different. There is no any two in one tribe in one. No. Fulani are Fulanis. Fulanis are the terrorists. Fulanis are the one disturbing us in this country. We have to be very careful. We have to inform others. This protest is not against hunger. No any hunger in this country. Fulani are the one that created this artificial hunger. They are the one sending cows to our farms. They are the one clearing our farms. They created artificial hunger to make us angry because an angry man, a hungry man is an angry man. That is the strategies they use. We have to be very careful. Our problem in Nigeria is not hunger. Our problem in Nigeria is not subsidy. Our problem in Nigeria are Fulanis. Mm -hmm. Fulanis are our main key enemies. They want to destroy our country. They want to destroy Nigeria. They are claiming notes. They are claiming Ariwa. We don't have any notes Ariwa. Nobody should talk on behalf of Ariwa. We don't know anything called Ariwa. Ariwa is a nation or is a place where Fulani I use the word to talk on behalf of others, indigenous. But we don't recognize anything called Ariwa. Let everybody know. We all know the enemies of the country, like he said. Well, I thank God that you people have come to understand all Mazen Nam Kalo has been saying all these years. I thank God that you have come to understand that Fulani is there to use you. I thank God that you have come to understand that for years Fulani have been using you. But what you should also know is this, that Nigeria is finished. The best thing is people going their own different ways because in a country where you have people feel of tribalism that country is about to fail in a country where you have people going around killing people in the of farmers and header clashes and the government has refused to do anything about it that country is meant to fail that is the truth as far as we are concerned all we are now clamoring for is Biafra restoration that is what is remaining because every prophecy that Mazen Namdekala has given has come to pass. We are waiting for the restoration of Biafra. That is where we stand. Not in, in Nigeria, not in anything, because this country can't work. It's a, in a country where you can see a group of youth who claim that they want a new Nigeria are busy rallying for a criminal who is in Asorok. What country is that? 
I saw what happened in River State. What a big shame that people, such crowd, no matter how much they pay them. So this is what we are talking about. We should call it spare the spare. This country can't work. Not even in next 50 years. So the best thing is total dissolution. Everybody go their own with different ways. Well, I think I've come to the end of this. Thank you so much for watching.